Welcome back. Windows has a lot of help built into it. Most applications also have complete sections dedicated to helping you use the program. I think most of the time these are largely ignored and vastly underused. That's not to say they are perfect, of course, but I'll show you how to combine these different sources to help with Google and YouTube to find the answers to your questions. The easiest way to access the built-in help system is simply to press the F1 key on the keyboard. It's normally on the very top row of the keyboard. You should find keys labelled F1 through F12. If you have a window open, F1 will load the help system for the running program. If there isn't a program running, then Windows will perform an internet search for you, asking for help related to the section of Windows that you are looking at. This also happens when you request help for most of the standard or built-in Windows applications, such as Notepad or File Explorer. The help system of most Windows applications can be found through the menu system of the program, as well as pressing the F1 key. For example, in Notepad, click on the Help menu, then click on View Help. The structure of the help system will depend on the specific program that you are running. You will normally find a search function to help you find the answer you need. Let's take a look at the help system built into Microsoft Word. It can be accessed by either clicking on the help on the ribbon, then click on help or just press the F1 key. For the Microsoft Office applications, the help system opens in a panel on the right side of the window. There's a bit of a menu. Clicking on any of these items will display options around the, the topic. For example, click get started and Word offers to assist with creating a document in Word, saving documents and so on. Selecting one of these options displays some useful help as well as a link to a video clip showing you how to perform the action. As mentioned, the easiest way to find the answers you are after is to use the search box. In this case, at the top of the help section, click in the box and type in your query. It's best just to put in a few keywords, rather than a specific question. For example, to get help on inserting images into a document, just type inserting pictures or inserting images, rather than how to insert an image. Click on the topic title that's relevant to you and again we have a description and a link to a video to guide you through the process. Personally, I normally use Google and YouTube to find answers that I need. I'll assume that you can already search the internet for the minute, although internet and email are actually covered in detail in the second ECDL module which covers online essentials. So if this bit doesn't make much sense, you might want to look into that module before you give this a try. So just as we use Google every day to find answers to our queries, then we can also use it to help with using the computer. Again, just enter your query into Google and you can normally find an answer within the first few search results. Sometimes you'll find an answer, but it relates to an older version of the software. Also, don't be tricked into downloading any software that promises to fix your problem. They may very easily contain viruses or malware. Again, more on this in a later video. Just look for step-by-step -step guides. Another great resource for help is YouTube. If you've never heard of YouTube, it has videos covering every conceivable topic. And because of this, you can normally find a video where someone shows you exactly how to achieve a goal or resolve a problem. Here again, we can search for inserting images into Word and get back video showing us exactly what to do. In this short video, we have explored how to get help while using the computer, other than calling a friend that works in IT, of course. These have included pressing the F1, which gives you help based on what you are doing on the computer at the time. There is normally an option to access a program's help system through a menu, normally a help menu. I finish by giving you some hints on using Google and YouTube to find guides and walkthroughs that you can use to find how to accomplish your tasks. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.